Testing, testing, testing. Perry Jeffries here. I'll give a couple more seconds, we'll get into the content. Again, Perry Jeffries here, good morning. Another edition of Live from the Hot Tub. Man, today, 6 a.m. Alpha Workout was one of the hardest workouts of my life. And I say one of the hardest workouts of my life because there's very few times that I work out and I think about quitting. And several times during the workout today, I thought about quitting, completely stopping and just saying, you know what, I can't do anymore. But that's when the law of the rubber band kicked in. Last night with my mastermind group, we covered the law of the rubber band. Now understanding with that law, it states that you only grow when you're willing to stretch. Your potential growth lies in the tension that you create in that rubber band. So when today's workout got extremely hard, I started reflecting on the dialogue we had last night around the law of the rubber band. And it applies to everything in life. So whether it's your education, whether it's your health, whether it's your finances, true growth is achieved only when you begin to stretch yourself. There was a quote in that section, I believe, that says something to the effect of, if you won't be better tomorrow than you were today, then why do you need tomorrow? Let that sink in. If every day you're not striving to be better than you were the previous day, why do you even need, need that day? So we're blessed to have another day. Not, I've had some, some family members and some clients and lose family members here recently. We're not promised tomorrow. So we owe it to ourselves to make sure that we're better tomorrow than we were today. So the law of the rubber band struck me during my workout and I finished up strong. And the next thing that struck me was the law of environment. And with the law of environment, what I realized was that you always can achieve more based on the people you, you surround yourself with. Let me ask you, how much could you accomplish? How much could you accomplish if you are surrounded by not one, not two, but multiple people who would not let you fail? It's not even an option. So today, when I thought about giving up several times on my workout, I heard my teammates say, come on, Perry. You can do it, Perry. Come on, Perry. You can do it, Perry. And that environment is key. I'll be quite honest with you. A lot of us are not achieving, achieving or reaching our potential because we're not around the right people. If you're in a toxic environment, there's no way you can expect to have any type of success. Change your environment. And last but not least, the law of the trade-offs. You have to be willing to give up to grow up. So I'm not a morning person. So I'm sacrificing sleep to be able to get here and work out with my team Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I was willing to trade off. That was the trade-off, which I think was a small trade-off considering the results that we're achieving as a team. So that's Perry Jeffries here with your financially fit tip of the day live from the hot tub i see you bouncing let's connect let's connect to uh, uh later on we'll get you tightened up get you on the workout plan and just leave you with a couple uh, uh final notes if you're not going to be better tomorrow if you won't be better tomorrow than you were today why do you even need tomorrow all right y'all stay blessed